Hop. Good evening again. Welcome to our Holy Week services. Um, each evening we'll focus on one of the people who appear in the story of Jesus' last week. Tonight we'll be looking at Pilate. At least my thoughts as I try and imagine what Pilate might have thought about from that day in the courtyard of the palace in Jerusalem. In the format for our services, we'll have a short prayer, then a scripture reading, a hymn, a short reflection, and then as we've been blessed with some wonderful music from Tess, we'll finish with some music. So let's begin with prayer. Let's pray. God be with us this evening. Speak to us in your ancient scripture. Speak to the hearts of your believers. Let us journey with your Son on that walk to the cross and keep our focus always on you. Amen. The reading comes from John's Gospel. John often uses the phrase, the Jews, and we have to be careful about that. Some modern translations interpret it as the Jewish leaders or the Jewish authorities. But we must remember that Jesus and his disciples were Jews. We have to be careful of the way that some language can be interpreted. We should remember that it is during Holy Week that attacks on synagogues in America increase. So with that caveat and that correction, let's hear from the Gospel of John, chapter 18, verses 28 to 40, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. They led Jesus then from Cephas to the Roman governor's palace. It was early morning. They themselves didn't enter the palace because they didn't want to be disqualified from eating the Passover. So Pilate came out to them and spoke. What charge do you bring against this man? They said, if he hadn't been doing something evil, do you think we'd be here bothering you? Pilate says, you take him, judge him by your law. The Jews said, we are not allowed to kill anyone. This would confirm Jesus' word, indicating the way he would die. Pilate went back into the palace and called for Jesus. He said, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Are you seeing this on your own? Or did others tell you this about me? Pilate said, Do I look like a Jew? Your people and your high priests turned you over to me. What did you do? My kingdom, said Jesus, doesn't consist of what you see around you. If it did, my followers would fight so that I wouldn't be handed over to the Jews. But I'm not that kind of king, not the world's kind of king. Then Pilate said, so are you a king or not? Jesus answered, you tell me. Because I am a king, I was born and entered the world so that I could witness to the very truth. Everyone who cares for truth, who has any feeling 
for the truth, recognises my voice. Pilate said, what is truth? Then he went back out to the Jews and told them, I find nothing wrong in this man. It's your custom that I pardon one prisoner at Passover. Do you want me to pardon the king of the Jews? They shouted back, not this one, but Barabbas. Barabbas was a Jewish freedom fighter. Amen. The hymn 380, there is a green hill far away. to become a martyr, a hero. But Jesus, who was he all about? Like a lamb to the slaughter. One thing Jesus managed, he got me and Herod working together, a common problem often does. Jesus seemed to have a knack of bringing those who were normally at each other's throats together the Jewish leaders, the whole court, and then the crowd. All I was interested in was keeping the peace, keeping the powers above happy and the mob below quiet. I had strung up thousands and I wasn't about to become one of them myself. What is truth? I'll tell you what truth is. Truth is whatever the powerful want it to be. Truth 
is manipulation by the powerful. Truth is whoever controls the mob controls the truth. Truth is that we always need a scapegoat to keep the peace. What was it that Cephas said? It is better for one man to die for the people than the whole nation to perish. I would give the mob, the victim they demanded, anything to keep the peace. Truth is, if you want to give the mob what they want, do it with a bit of theatre. The king of the Jews. They could laugh at the irony of it all. Makes it easier to dish out that sort of violence with a large dose of ridicule to anaesthetise them. His ceremonial coronation, a crown of thorns, a purple robe, kneeling and mocking and beating and whipping. It makes it easier with a bit of mockery thrown in. A sign to hang above the royal pretender, king of the Jews. Bound and beaten, they knelt before him. I bow to no one but public opinion. Bound and beaten, but aren't we all? My hands were tied too. We're all victims, aren't we? I was the victim here too. What choice did I have? I had people to face who were much more scary than the mob and much more imperial than Jesus. I was just following orders. My hands were tied too. But I could walk away from all this chaos. I could wash my hands and walk away. And yet, I couldn't. I couldn't walk away from the pages of history. What is true? The truth is, I couldn't wash my hands and I couldn't walk away, not from this. And the truth is that Jesus was not just one of the thousands who died on their crosses. And you know, the truth is that controlling the mob is much more subtle and pervasive now. The truth is that we still sacrifice scapegoats to keep the peace. The truth is that knees still bow to public opinion. The truth is that you are no different from me. The truth is that hands are still being washed, but never clean. That's what the truth is.
Jesus said, everyone who cares for truth, who has any feeling for the truth, recognises my voice. May the God of truth lead and guide us this holy week as we journey to the cross and the empty tomb.